Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to part four of the chassis reinforcement. Uh, it's supposed to rain in a few hours, about three. So I'm going to try to knock out as much as I can. So right now I'm going to pull out this X bar. That way I can maneuver around this. I want to get this section done right here real fast. Come around on here. Pull this bracket, that one down there. Finish going around the top. Uh, clean up the seam sealer on both sides and right around this area here get those done hopefully I can get that done within the time before it starts to rain if I'm able to get that done I'm gonna come around here and try to clean this up right here and finish that um, I need to start making better progress that I've been doing on this project because it's kind of taking a little bit long and I don't want the videos to get boring but also I need to get done the frame rails I think it comes up into here These are the last spot wells are right here and right here and then I need to figure out how to do the subframe because looking at this I don't know if you can see it but there are so many welds on here it's going to be hard to go in between so I'm probably going to have to jack up the car and do it from underneath but let's get started pulling the next brace out. So it's the next day, it, I pretty much worked until it started to rain, but I finished up this section across here, around here, these two holes here, I have to wait till I jack up the car and drop the shock because these are going to get hit the top hats, but I got all the way across the top, around here, and all the way down around, so right now, it's kind of hard to see, but I got frame rail marked out and I'm pretty much just going off these papers that I printed of pictures of the um, orange look DC2 so I'm gonna finish this side here all right so I got the line for the subframe done up on this side haven't really messed with this side yet came to the outside clean all the seam sealer off got rivets all the way down here you just have to get the seam sealer off and you'll see where the metal is I did it all the way across to the back uh, started on this side got all the holes drilled I'm about to pop the rivets I'm actually starting to run out of rivets quick I bought 500 and I have about 120 left so let's see how much I can get done so I undercoated the whole bottom or rear that's under the bumper I finished out those rivets over here I used 3m professional grade rubberized undercoating came out pretty good taped everything off so it has a nice line that goes across here Alright, so picking up where I left off, I have this side marked out. I'm going to drill these holes and I'm going to pop some rivets into here. Then I'll move along taking this bracket out and these two.
finish this frame reel also. I got these brackets out, finish this all the way around. I ran out of rivets, but I had a couple left. So I started to do in this area over here. But now I have to clean up all this metal dust and whatnot. So I'll order a thousand rivets from this place called Albany Fastener Company or Albany County Fastener Company. Um, pretty cheap. I got them for like 30 bucks. They're stainless steel just like the last ones. Um, I was hoping they would be here before this weekend so I could get uh, a lot more done. But I gotta work with what I have for the time being. So I'm gonna clean this car up on the inside. Uh, primer over the bare metal where I cut the brackets out. But that's going to be it for this one. The next video, I hope to finish that rear shock tower and start working towards the front of the car. Um, mainly the main seam that goes across the back of the car right here. This one that goes all the way across. Get that subframe done possibly start cleaning up all this floor eventually it's going to come around and get all this but little steps at a time but with the thousand rivets i ordered hopefully it's going to be enough to finish most of the car i thought 500 would get me further than it got me so far i got about 550 rivets in the car but It's a little bit more work than I felt like it was going to be, but it's all good. So until next time, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.